Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 8 of our Confederate Let's Play using the JMP mod. We are on to the Battle of Cross Keys. I think it's a little bit more of a defensive mission. I took a took a peek at it, and there's two objectives that you have to defend, so we'll see how that goes. That being said, since it's more, de more of a defensive mission, I'll be taking the Napoleons, even though I took the Napoleons last battle. I think it's mostly because... I gave them the horse artillery perk, and I just like how fast they move on the battlefield. But being a more defensive mission, I'm taking eight infantry to this, two of the 12 pounder Napoleons, um, one melee cab, and then going to try out our snipers, our, our 300 man strong skirmisher, whatever you want to call this. It's not a brigade. And I actually don't know what these are supposed to represent since it's a brigade level game. Uh, because generally skirmishers were like your your sharpshooters and whatever detached off of your your regular regiments. So I, I almost think of this as like a company. So it'd be really cool if uh, if you could actually lead them with a lower rank individual and not take a major efficiency hit. That would be that'd be really cool to me. Um, it would also be cool. I was thinking about this. It would be really cool if like in a future game. So you keep it at brigade level, but within the brigade, you you have like your regiments per se, and you assign colonels to them. It all acts as a brigade, but uh, or lieutenant colonels, majors, and all of that. And that way, like say Kemper kicks the bucket or is wounded during a battle, you know exactly which sub commanders are going to take his place, and they they sort of count as having you know experience in the regiment. And then it would be cool too, like um, to to have these skirmishers integrated into your brigade. So when you click that detach skirmisher thing, your skirmishers have like a specific skirmisher pool. Because usually what you would do is you'd have like X company of X regiment be like, all right, you're on like skirmisher duty. You guys, you guys are like the sharpshooters, or you guys are just good at scouting forward moving through the woods yada 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 because um generally you didn't have you know like a giant skirmishing wall that's more of the british during the napoleonic wars where the french weren't sure if they hit the british front line or if they hit their skirmisher wall because the british just like to spam out um, skirmishers but uh generally speaking you would have guys that are sort of like okay we need skirmishers out you guys you know how to skirmish go forward so that that's kind of what i think of these guys because there's no such thing as like a skirmisher brigade you might have like a sharpshooter company or if your regiment got really small you might have like a a, a sharpshooting regiment because some regiments did get absolutely tiny during the during the civil war so you can see here the enemy has 19 brigades 15,000 soldiers, 27 guns, so it's probably only like two artillery batteries, to be honest there. Um, but Battle of Cross Keys, 8th of June, 1862. The Union keeps sending more troops to deal with our moves through the Shenandoah Valley. Our signal station on Massachusetts monitoring Union progress reported two Union col columns converging on your position under the command of General Fremont. Is it Fremont or Fremont? I think it's Fremont. The army of General Fremont is marching on Valley Pike. Advance your force at Cross Keys and stop him. So it's a defensive mission. We have to, I think it's this tree here and this tree here has the objectives. On the battlefield, the Federal Brigades come into line and soon will attack your position. So there's one of the objectives. Mill Creek offers good defensive position to repel the Yankees. Our main objective is to hold this passage and then down here and the other one located south. So those are the two objectives, as I said. I think this river can't be crossed except for the fords. This river looks like it can be crossed all along. You should expect superior forces, so use the terrain to your benefit to withstand the assault. Good luck, General. All right, we're going to grab our men, move about. Yeah, so you can't cross. You can cross that ford, that ford, that bridge. So I wonder if putting a unit here in here and then maybe some skirmishers out here because nothing can cross up until you get to about here yeah that might be a good idea put like two two brigades down here maybe a third just to help out over here detach some skirmishers so we'll have like three 
three brigades there, and then that leaves five. We could put like three in the trees, one or two over here, move our cav up this way. We do have our sharpshooters, which will be good. So, so I'll reposition our troops and I'll be back once our troops are moving out on the battlefield. Okay, on the battlefield, moving out. So we have the majority of our units up over here. And then we're going to have three units along with the cab over here. Maybe I can sneak through here. We'll just see how how the enemy attacks. But I guess the idea here is bring them into the objective and then try and surround and crush them. Obviously in this game, the more flanking shots you can get off, the better. That's always a great idea. We do have some skirmishers over here. Gonna help out with, uh, with this flank. And then... We have these wonderful sharpshooters over here. They can kind of sit a little bit further back and be quite a bit more defensive. And then these guys are going to cover the fords. Yankee's spotted to our left. Okay. So we have some guys over here. We're bringing Kemper around. Kemper's our most... What, what do you call Kemper? Kemper is our most veteran unit. And then these units look like they're in a good position. Just moving the artillery forward, so place you there and place you there. Should be good. Quick silver. Somewhere around there. Okay, so looks like they're coming in from an angle that way, so we'll see what happens over here. Maybe we can scoot this army around this way. Enemy skirmishers spotted. There they are. I did turn the artillery on to where they only shoot range band 1 and 2. Ooh, there's some kins, that's uh... Those are tasty targets. And then what's over here? Skirmishers. Just getting absolutely decimated, which is great. Let's move you guys up just a little. Let's see if we can get you guys to have more of a flank attack. Hopefully they... They're a little bit stuck on us right here. Would actually love for the enemy to pull in a little bit more. And then if Wilcox could maybe go like there, that would be a little bit better. The Union force is attacking the right. Um, except it looks like he's marching more that direction as opposed to onto our right. So I wonder. Let's let the enemy engage a little bit more. Kemper, I don't need you taking artillery hits. Um, you need to be aware of units that are... Okay. We don't need to be hitting... Okay. Alright, everybody shoot that. Shoot that. Eager, confident, steady, wavering should be good. Okay. Um, okay, looks like they're not pushing up this side. So we'll we'll push up over here. Wavering. Not good. have you guys rejoin your parent unit. Oh, that's... Oh, I don't want you... No, 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 no. Get, get out of there. I'm pressing F. Get out of there. Um, okay, so you guys took some hits. Let's have you guys charge the artillery, if you can. Hopefully there's nothing over there to, to hit you. I told you guys to hit that. Hey, running. Okay, everybody please go hit that. Alright, looks like we have their flank. Alright. Uh, confident. Need you guys to change direction over there. Wavering is good. And we've basically got their 
blank. Thank you. You guys don't need to run anymore. Just, just move up there. Okay, Benjamin. Probably can have you go over here. Uh, let's just put Breckenridge's guys over there and bring you guys over here. That looks good. Alright, so we're just collapsing their flank because they decided that they didn't want to cover their flank. Which is perfectly fine. Alright, I need you guys to hit Gordon. He is currently heroic. And then... Okay, you're you're fine going that way. I feel like there's a bunch of stuff around that we could really take advantage of over here. I don't get why you guys are kind of going sideways. Let's have you guys hit Milroy because he is heroic. Probably need Benjamin to run. Can you guys... Oh, that's terrible, man. but that works. Okay, they're wavering now. Let's continue hitting Milroy over here. You guys look like you're fine. Quicksilver's being the anvil, which is perfect. It's exactly what we need. And then I'm just kind of looking for opening here the oh, main union forces of these. Oh, that wasn't it. Oh, phew. that's not it. Uh... Shoot. Okay. Well, that'll be interesting. Can you charge into them? Is that just suicidal? I feel like it's going to work. Melee. We're all in melee. Oh, those guys turned. Shoot. Uh. Probably not worth it. Especially if there's another you know, giant blob of Union soldiers coming this way. We probably need to pull back. Let's pull back to about here. And see what they did. 216 to 87. I don't know. Probably not worth it, but... I feel like it caused the enemy to really... really not do well. Let's get these skirmishers out, cover our cover our rear. Mm, okay. I want you to move over here. Yeah, let's pull you guys back. I need you guys to run. Okay. You guys are the rear guard. Pull you guys forward a little. Artillery's taking some damage. I wonder I wonder if now we could move our cav back around. You guys, pull back, pull back. I think you're in a good position. We can move our cab around this flank now and try and deal with all of that. Oh. Let's see if you guys can move up to where you guys can shoot. Same with you. Alright, here comes more guys. You're in a perfect position now. They're heroic, though. That's... that is a problem. Alright, hit them. Alright, pull back even more. 
just need to lure them in a little. Yeah, there's some ammo requests over there. Can't get around them because that unit's not moving, so maybe that was a bad idea. Let's just have them in the center. Really don't know what to do with me, like Cav. I try to make Cav work and I, I fail at it quite miserably often. Okay, I want you guys to probably rejoin the parent units. So this unit here has taken way too many casualties. I feel like you guys need to go back to your parent unit. You guys can go back to your parent unit. And now we can kind of position you guys back up a little. Um, let's, let's move you over here. Move you over here. Just kind of get flanking, flanking shots. Oh, did they shatter? Crap. Right as we're trying to to get them back. Let's actually move you guys over here. Let's have you guys go to your parent unit. Um, put in, let's get them down to steady. Great. Um, can you hit them? They're, that's a flank shot. Can you hit them? Oh. Oh, that was not good. Okay. I wonder... Okay, Wilcox's skirmishers, I don't need you doing something stupid. What do I do with, uh, you? Yeah, they shattered, unfortunately. This seems to be kind of working. I don't like how that unit's moving. They're looking at me funny. Can you hit them? Yeah, I don't see a good spot for me. Let's have you... Come on, and then... No, I had the turn! There we go. And then loop like that. Alright, hit them. And you... And if we could get that unit to go away, that would be great. That unit's being obnoxious because it's stopping my calf from getting around them. I wonder if I could still get around them. There's artillery out there somewhere. Okay, lots of their guys are down to eager, confident. Now that unit is pinned. It's kind of making sure that... I think Kemper, okay, let's, uh, let's get you guys out of there, let's have you guys move to there. And then you need to reattach. And then how are we doing over here? Bring you around. Okay, can you guys go there and then you guys move out over here? Yeah, keep hitting the unit because they're showing their butt, or their side. I would love to get this unit up a little bit further. Like, I would love for them to go into these trees here, because right now they're out in the open and that's not a great spot for them, but... moment I don't necessarily know know what to do. Yeah, that unit's just sitting there, which is interesting. I wonder if you guys could move up. You guys could maybe move up over here. 
Yeah, they're in range. Great, great range on those scoped rifles. Okay, you're still shooting that unit in flank, which is perfect. Can we get to that artillery? I wonder if they have units protecting them. Okay. Let's just keep Breckenridge's skirmishers there. Keeps them out of range, but you know, good enough. Um, let's see, wavering, confident. I mean you're showing your flank, right? To hit you really fast. Didn't I tell Wilcox to go down there? Thought I did. Okay, looks like that artillery is by itself, so we could go gobble it up. Let's have you guys go do that. And you guys can charge in. And you guys could do something like that. They're counter battering like they're doing counter battery against my skirmishers. Wow, they turned really fast. Please get this off before they can fire and still get the fucking good. That's a nice nice capture. I don't know, go go somewhere. That's causing them to move away, so that's perfect. They're probably going to try and recapture their artillery. That's perfect over there. Because this is what we're going to do. Charge in! Oh no, don't let them get it off. Get there, get there, get there. There we go. Perfect. Uh, are we winning? I don't know. Oh man. They... They moved up. There. That guy is so stupid. Oh man. They moved that unit across the map because of us capturing artillery. I was warned that there's like a change in the AI's desire to recapture units and I didn't think it would be that stupid. So that that's like a little it's a little cheesy. I didn't mean for that to happen. I just wanted to take out the artillery. That's all I really cared about was taking out the artillery. Oh, you guys are getting... I see what you did there. Okay. They really want their... Wow, they really want their guys back. Could you charge into that? Oh, but they've got a big... Oh no, it's right there. This is perfect. Come on, come on, come on. And then we can move you guys over there. They're routing, wavering. Now they're routing. Oh, this is, this could be, oh, they shot back. I don't understand routing mechanics, why sometimes the enemy can come back and shoot, whereas other times they can't. I mean, we've lost lots of cav, but I think it's worth it. Let's see, how's this all going? No, just shoot over there. Okay, they're wavering, they're still routing. And then, perfect. Alright, get you off the battlefield. They're wavering, they're going to... They're going to get chewed up too. This is, this is going pretty well, I think.
I think we are slowly... Oh, it didn't give us a choice to continue. Mm. Alright, we took more casualties than I would have liked. I feel like we could have completely wrapped up that army. I... It's weird how you don't have a lot of time to continue battles anymore. I would have liked to completely crush this army. Um, in interesting there. So let's take a peek at this. So missing 312. I think that's the shattered wounded. I really need to get my medicine up. Um, oh, promotions. Yay, Kemper's finally a Brigadier General, Cutshaw. That's what I like. I, I want to see some promotions during the battle. Uh, that That's my main thing. I don't... Uh, I, I completely understand the concept of, like, they lowered the um, lowered the progression so you don't have this, like, a mass of lieutenant generals, but I feel like a lot of the GMP mod changes are to affect abusers or cheesers of game mechanics, and I'm not really that. So some of the things, like, are a little bit too brutal for somebody who plays the game, quote-unquote, the right way. Um, and there is no right or wrong way to play a game. You can play a game anyone, any way you like. But I generally don't try to cheese mechanics of a game. Like, that unit went clear across the map chasing their artillery. Not, not my, like, th th that wasn't the plan there. The plan there was to take out the artillery with my cavalry and get behind their lines. Um, not to, you know, cause their unit to do something stupid. So I, I I can definitely understand in the GMP mod, you know, stop the cheesers, but I'm going to continue messing around with the configs to where it fits my playstyle, to where it's a challenge for my playstyle, and it fits my playstyle. So the the grueling, like absolutely snail pace at which officers were being promoted was not not my playstyle. Um I in the Civil War, you got promoted all the time. Whether it was for you being good is a different story. Um, most promotions in history are because your superior was wounded or killed. So it's like, what's the? If you guys have seen the Starship Troopers thing, like, I need a, uh, I, I need a lieutenant unit until I find somebody better. Or I butchering the line, but you you get the point. Like somebody gets wounded or gets killed, somebody has to get promoted. So. I understand that, you know, that doesn't always correlate to gameplay mechanics, but for me, not having enough colonels and brigadier generals mentally was really messing with my mind because this is a brigade level game, and brigades should be led by colonels or brigadier generals in this time period. You generally have lieutenant colonels leading a brigade because their colonel or brigadier general was wounded or killed or sick or unfit for duty things like that so that's my uh that's my rant for this video you get one every single time <clears throat> sorry a little bit of my phone going off there um but as far as captured uh you know a bunch of 1861s that's not too shabby there man i would have really liked to bag the rest of this army I, I really feel like we were in position to do so but um I, I thought that battle went pretty well like Marshall lots of lots of kills good I mean they lost a lot of men but they had a large unit to begin with um I'm using my cab really aggressive I don't know if it's a good idea but I feel like the cab really broke open that battle for us um especially there was all the, there were all those skirmishers clumped up uh, on the south over here, and when they when they charged in, they took a bunch of casualties, but they really broke up that section of the army. I guess um, if we want to talk about cheesy, that's probably the cheesiest thing I do is use cavalry as if this was the Napoleonic Wars as opposed to the Civil War, because as I said, there's you don't really have melee cav in the Civil War. Um, cavalry were really like glorified reconnaissance troops and light infantry they weren't i mean they, they were more of your traditional dragoon role so like mounted infantry i guess is the best way to put it um you didn't didn't really have cavalry charging down enemy units because they learned really fast really early that charging cavalry into um a you know, just any infantry line was absolutely disastrous because of the advances in 
in in rifle technology and just the the speed at which units could put lead onto the battlefield um, so pretty good our 12 pounders didn't do too bad either some some good kills there i like to see that one of our 12 pounders did take a few casualties so hopefully i didn't see did we recover any 12 pounders we recovered a howitzer that's amazing jeez that's what the that's what the union had that's that's scary and gross um but we'll take it unfortunately kemper did not level up he is so close to leveling up and uh his unit is they're strong enough now to where giving them veterans doesn't do anything it actually makes them worse which is funny um man it is really hard to at least how i play it's really hard to get your veterans yet because i, I want to like fill up my units again and the, um in this mod so like if i added veterans look at the stats they all go down so like uh, replacing the troops is really really tough um gonzo was giving me some tips on like how to get your veteran pool up i i really wish uh like in a future game or whatever so, so technically like a brigade should be more along the lines of like 3,000, 4,000 men really when you think about it because um you know I'm gonna use loose terms here like technically a regiment is anywhere from a thousand to two thousand men when it's first raised and a brigade uh traditionally is about four regiments um the the confederates definitely had brigades that were like six regiments um for sure uh and then just as the war went on your brigades got smaller and smaller and smaller it would be cool if in, in this game if you could start your brigades super duper large but you can't really because you can't have a low level commander really command that many troops and you're capped by your career so army organization i think now i can have large brigades um so 4000 max infantry but like early on you can't have that many guys so that's one of the problems is like really how you want to do this is you want like a super duper large brigade but then let the casualties um occur the other problem is just the scaling in the game if you create large brigades and the enemy creates large brigades and it just makes small brigades useless basically like a it in the game, the AI is going to recognize that a 4,000 strong brigade is going to just chomp on a 1,000 strong brigade, and it's just going to immediately charge, like, instantaneously charge, and you're just like, oh, cool, that's so much fun. <laughs> so, uh, that, that, that's one of the problems. That's I try, to, I try to recruit them back up to, like, 1,500 or 1,750 without killing their stats too much. They... Their stats still go up, which is nice. You can see, like, them compared to what's a normal recruit. Uh, normal recruit is 11 efficiency, 21 morale, 21 stamina, 18 farms, 18 melee. So you can see they're still much, much higher. Sometimes double what a normal recruit is, uh, even after bringing them up to, like, 1750 and then letting them drop down, so... This is what the army looks like at the moment. This is what our poor barracks looks like at the moment. Really need to level up more men. We're going to go into Gaines Mill with a lot of green men. I might need to start building up some regiments right now and giving them 1,750 men and sending them into this. What is... Is this a... Defensive or attack? Oh, we're attacking. We're assaulting great absolutely great um all right well i'll figure out how to create a force for this and then i will see you in the next episode so that is it for today today's episode please like comment subscribe all of that youtube jazz greatly helps out the channel greatly appreciate all of your guys' support and as always guys until next time